Okay, this is crochet along day whatever this is after the nap. I had to take a nap. I was just so tired. Okay, so now we are going to work row 12. And what we do when we get to row 12, after we end row 11, you turn your work and you chain two. And that's where I am. I've chained my two. Now what we're going to do is we're going to work the rope, the woven stitch between, in the space, between each rope, each woven stitch <laughs> in the last row. So what we do is that we yarn over, we stick it into that space, holding it away from me. Stick it in space, pull it through. There we go. Yarn over. Stick it in that space. Oops. Yeah, maybe I need another nap. <laughs> Yarn over and pull it through. And that's the way we do the next row. Let me push this in a little bit. Here we go. So I can get a little bit closer. Okay. Through. Turn over. Stick it in that space again the second time. Pull through. Again. So that's, that's what it says to do. And that's what we're going to do. Yarn over, stick it in the space, pull it up, oops, <laughs> all right, here we go, pull it through the space, do the first loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, go back in that space again, pull the yarn up, pull it through that loop, don't you, don't you dare do that to me. It did, didn't it? it gets, it's so slippery and I can't get a hold of it. Okay, yarn through. Pull through that loop. Yarn over and pull through that loop. And that's what it's going to look like on the other side. I don't see these holes, but you know, I'm just beginning to wonder when it says to use a DK yarn, and this is a, this is a, this is a four, that it makes a difference, I think. In the D, if it was a DK, a thinner yarn, you probably wouldn't have these loops like this. But you know what? It makes it interesting, doesn't it? I like it. <clears throat> so we yarn over and stick your hook in that space. Bring up your loop. Pull it through that first loop. Yarn over, pull through both loops. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, loop over. Stick it in that space, pull it up through that first for that freaking loop. There we go. Loop. Oh, there you go. Yarn over and pull through this loop. And that's that's gonna be pretty, I think. And see, you're creating spaces here. Okay, as you were doing this, this row, you're creating these spaces. Oops. Oops, excuse me, right here. Okay, and what's going to happen now for rows 13 through 21, you 13 through 21, you are going to be doing this stitch back and forth. So at the end of this row, you're going to turn, you're going to chain two, and then you're going to work in the spaces. So when you turn it over, you're going to be working in the spaces right here. Where you, okay? There, spaces, spaces, spaces. 
which is between your two, between your, between your wo woven, um, you'll be working in the spaces doing this, and you're going to be doing that between this row, that's 12, and then you'll be 13 through 21, so that will be, oops, excuse me, that will be 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, nine more rows. Okay, so that's nine rows. So what we're doing now is 12, and then 13 through 21, we do, we'll be using doing the same row, so it's a total of 10 rows, right? 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. That's 10 rows. So you'll be doing 10 rows of this woven stitch between each little woven um, clusters. Let's pull it. Let's call it what it is, right? You have to hold on to that stitch. Oops, I missed it. Um, to keep it from sliding. But that's what you're going to be doing. That's 12. So you'll be doing this row is 12. So you'll be doing 10 of this row. And that's your homework. That's going to, you're going to get a lot done. That's going to keep you busy all weekend. All right. So you got it, and don't forget to chain your two at the beginning, and then from the very begin from the very beginning of the row, you do your woven stitch in between each one of these little clusters of two. So that's going to put us up quite a bit, quite a bit. Now let me see if I turn if I turn this around. You don't want to see you don't want to see that. You don't want to see that. Okay. Let me see if I can put this down without it, without it, um,